there <laughs> that it that it was how are you doing how's everybody doing hello hey Welcome. hi everybody <laughs> how's we're it here. going everyone that's okay we're not muted anymore how's it going oh, everyone no it was just a second um All right. hello Chris. welcome everyone um to another faithful episode of credits and continues with your guys um, here uh foxy man yep Hello. And myself, and, Slippy. And um, hello, Slippy. Hey, Wait, Foxy, no, buddy. No, there, there, there. Hi. Yeah, you're down there. <laughs> oh, you're down there. We haven't done this in a while, as you can tell. We haven't been together because no, it's been I've a while. been sick, and well, then he was gone. Last week, and... I had um, Slippy here. Yeah. Kind so of just hanging out. It's a better version of me. No, um, definitely not. Yeah, it's the... Because he's got the, the white background. He's better. <laughs> um... So yeah, it's been it's been a while for all of us. Um I'm still getting over being sick, so I'll be pausing and blowing my nose and drinking my V8 and whatnot. Um what are you been still over being uh I don't know. You've been babysitting a lot. Uh-huh. Yeah. I've been babysitting. Mm -hmm. Uh saw some ice sculptures today and mm. just have a thick it easy and That must have been yeah. nice. That must have and been really pretty. Games. It was pretty. It's yeah. This where we're at, it's just the snow, ice, everything is just all over the place. So yeah, it's got to be wonderful. I mean, where we are, it's um, I'm wearing shorts right now, and I have a fan turned on. Ah, it's not. Man. It's not great. It's really not. I want it to be uh, cold. I, I miss okay. having cold. I mean, it's like you could always put more clothes on, but you can't take enough clothes off, you know, like to be uh, comfortable. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I, it's I get like, that. yeah, it's, it's just, easier. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's way <laughs> too freaking cold or hot. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, but hello to everybody that's here. Um, all of yep. you joining us, all of you lurking, and all of you in between. Um, saying hello and whatnot. Hello, hello. Yep. And wearing my hat right away because it was already redeemed for me. So that's right, and it's great. Thanks, Mew. Yeah, this is only like a half a segment, so you get to take it off. So that's pretty cool. I know, isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> Those early <laughs> redeems are nice, like that. Um, yeah. So we are going to talk about. We had um, a couple interesting things. We had the Adventures of Batman and Robin on the Super Nintendo. Yes. Um, we had. Um, cheeky cheeky boys on the Genesis, which was really interesting. Yeah, um, it it was an interesting game. I'm really bad at it, so yeah, yeah, me too, bud, me too. And it's hard. It's yeah. quite hard. Um, and and yeah, I was I was not that great at it either. Um, in fact, it it's it's not not a lot of people um jumped in on it this week, but um. So well, the what people we, that, yeah. for the scores that we did get, though, I mean, we had some skyrocketing scores for and sure. I sometimes wonder if those really high early scores are what keep people away from, like, well, I know I'm not going to get first or second place, so... it. I don't know. We don't know. Sometimes yeah. it does that for the community, but sometimes, yeah. It's... Yeah, yeah, totally. And so I, I, I wonder if that's the case with these... <laughs> 
Um, Cheeky Cheeky Boys is a very cool game, and we had a lot of fun playing it. I know I had a very, um, I, I had a lot of fun playing it personally, and, and I, yeah. I think everybody else that did also. Um, Cosmic did great, and it wasn't until, like, the last day or two that RVK and, um... Knocker just went Knocker, right yeah, they, at it. They pulled so. it out. So we'll yeah. we'll talk about that. We'll talk about this other game. We'll see what wise wisdom Bob's Burger has for us. Okay. I'm a smart, strong, sensual woman. And with that, I think we should maybe just start the show. Sounds good. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the Challengers Arena. Hello. Hey. Um, the show is a lie. It It's a lie? The show is a lie. The cake is a lie. The show is a lie. It's chart time. Um, We we had, of course, Chica Chica Boys. Chica 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 Boys. Yes, we did. You had two characters to choose from. One of them had a stronger sword. The other one had stronger magic, and you got more of the magic. I preferred the red guy. Um, you could name your characters, why, I don't know. And, um, Fun. Yeah, I guess. And it was a Genesis game, which means no Genesis games this week. Um, yep. RVK came out and destroyed it with a score of 200,000. Bravo. Yeah, and then Knocker was like, I got you, dog, and posted a score of 166. Um, I mean, up to that point, we had Cosmic at 97,000 going strong. So and he was, was holding like, it. All of a sudden... Super double score. It's like, wow. Mm -hmm. RBK just destroyed it. Nice work, Saiyan. Um, Thank you, Saiyan. Yeah, so we also had Cosmic, <laughs> myself, Sparky. You did not post a score, Foxy. Uh, yes, I did at the end there. Oh, it's you did. You're right. It's not on the week. chart. You're right. Okay, yep. <laughs> so those I of did. us. Yeah, so that puts us then. If you look underneath me, um, you'll see our current quarter scoring. If you look mm -hmm. underneath Foxy over there, you'll see our yearly where we are. RVK, of course, is the winner from year one. Um, the first quarter winner, Knocker. The second quarter, Foxy Man. Yeah, yeah. The third quarter is, if we look at this on the chart and below us, it's looking to be Knocker unless it's you. Knocker's so you, got a pretty decent lead right now. Yeah. I mean, it, but uh, again, we're only what week three. Yep. Week two. Yep. You guys so, need to come in and throw up some scores and do some monthly melees. Yep. Knock knocker out of there, or else his name's going to go on a trophy that's going to sit in my house. Um, <laughs> and knocker's a good guy, so it's okay. Uh, so Nintendo, hello, my friend. I I want to point out Super Nintendo. Um, he has his first child. Um. And he's Yay! he posted a video on I could send you the trophy, yeah. Congratulations. Um, I probably will, honestly. Um and he posted a video of his son um with a song going and he Aww. did this eyebrow raise. It was on um isn't uh it it, it, was, it was on Instagram. It was adorable beyond belief. And then um yeah, it just melted my heart. Uh his boy is just Turning out to be so cute, and he's so young and little. It's awesome, all of love. Um, <laughs> so that is that's that's where we are right now on the chart. So you guys need to really start putting some scores in because we are only in week three right now of thirteen for this quarter. Ooh. So we got ten weeks, guys. Yeah, we want to see you guys doing great things. Those people that we named RBK, who has veto power. Uh, Knocker, Cosmic, myself, Sparky, and this man, Foxy. We get to all add two games for free to the wheel. Anybody else, you got to pay. Um, so if you're one of the free people, pay the one point so we can just document it correctly. Yep. If you didn't play and you want to add a game to the wheel, um, go ahead and pay that like 450 points or so, channel points, add your games to the wheel. You can add as many as you want, ultimately. Um, but look at this wheel. Why would you? Why? Just that's the question. Why would you? There's so, so many games on yeah. there right now. I am going to add a game. I'm not even sure if I can play it because it's a paddle game. Um, my game is going to be Kaboom on the Atari 2600. Okay. Um, I can see we got Vasara 
for the arcade from RVK. I didn't even need to look whose name that was because it said RK. Arcade. And then we have Kassar of Vasara 2. The search for more money. Um, in the arcade from RVK. Now, Knocker All is right. bringing us some Sparkster. Ooh, Sparkster. Yeah. Wow. Cosmic is bringing in Zupapa from the arcade. Zupapa, don't... Do we... I don't wait, know that we, one. Hold on, did we add those last week? Or was that for the... Re no. Let me double check. Okay. Well, they're only at the bottom now, so that's not too rough for me to delete if we need to. Saiyan okay. is throwing in some Zombie Nation on the NES. That's actually one I don't know. I'm pretty good with my NES stuff, but I don't know that one. Excuse have... me for once. The Cosmic, we have Zupapa on the arcade already. And we don't have 1943. <laughs> we have 1944. I didn't know there was a 1944. Yep, yeah, we already have Zupapa. But if you want to add 1943, we can add that too. All right. Speaking of which, I should go. Actually, I think I just do enable all inputs here. All right. Um, no one was alive then, man. What, 1943? Yeah. Yeah. That's Absolutely your history. Not. You know, it's 50 years old. Tear it down. Put a car park there. Certainly, no one was as old Eddie as our bit. Grace was referring to. Da -da -da -da. Capers. I had um, home run music stuck in my head, guys. Which you. we'll be talking about later tonight, so. Yes. And I'm also going to show you guys, too, if you have a um, Doo -doo. Discord, I'm going to show you how to link your Discord to the Scanline Discord for announcements and whatnot, and it saves everybody a whole lot of trouble wherever you're going live. And I'll show you how to do that later. Oh, who is this? Cosmic Mercenary. Um, now, Grave says, okay. oh my god, Keystone? But he's saying, is that Keystone Capers? Is that what it's called? Keystone Capers? I think that's what it's called, yeah. Okay, so that's I'll put that. I might be wrong, I'm just going to assume, because that's what they're talking about. Yeah, Keystone Capers with a okay. K. I do, I'm, tr <laughs> I'm going to try and put an Atari game on it, on the wheel every week, just because... Um, if kind of get a little more variety. Yeah. yeah, and if you can, you can play Atari on your cell phone. You know, like, there's no reason for anybody to say, I, I can't play it because it's the Atari or whatever. So, um... True. That's okay, Cosmic. I don't smell much of anything right. It's all right. Um... Yeah. So, we also had this thing... Uh, I'll tell you what, let's roll this wheel, and then I'll get to this short story. Um, all right. I'm going to shuffle this up. If no one has anything, if you want to add something, you just add it, and we'll add it between spins. I mean... We're okay for now. Yeah, it's pretty gigantor hoo-ha. Metal Storm, we just had this last week or so. Um, yeah. Yeah, Metal come Storm up was, as an option. Yep, it was an option about a week ago, or a couple weeks ago, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Metal Storm. Fighter's History, wow. Wow, I haven't seen that in forever. I think Me I rented neither. it once. Wow. Hey, Nintendo, I'm doing great. Congratulations again. Uh, I'll have to check out of course. <laughs> the video for it. Guwange, I'm glad whatever that, that well. is. Hope you've been well. All right. <laughs> we're going to look these up, and, um, and we're going to ask our man here, RVK, which game do you want to veto, sir, based on... Metal Storm on the NES. You already know RBK. Feel free to just let us know. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we will show off all three of the games right now. Just a little bit of each. Yeah, so this is Metal a, Storm. A basic kind of... Uh, well, basic, but it has an inverted gravity function. Yep. Very, yep. very cool. You, uh, you can see it there. You flip upside down to be able to get to the different... It's like that one Mega Man level. Um, RBK already. Veto Metal Storm. Okay. Okay. Piece of junk. Okay. Fighters yeah, History. Yeah. Goodbye. I really wish you would have saw Fighters History before you said that, but let's look at Fighters <laughs> History on the SNES. All right. It's a fighting game 
Because fighter's history is bad. Ooh, and it's, that's it's the strategy not, this week. All right. Is, that is what it is, huh? Yeah. Look at that face. Just look at that dude's face. I want to go back. Look at that face. Beautiful. Fuck me. I love it all. It looks oh like Sagata. God. That looks like Sagata Sanchiro. He looks like something, all right. Sagata Sanchiro. He looks like he would be rocking these sunglasses at some point in his life. <laughs> Probably. You know, like, he looks like he'd be rocking these things and be like, yes. There's a high score for it and everything, guys, so... Ridiculous. All right. All right um, next game. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Wonga. I mean, I just hope this one doesn't win. They got sued for that? Oh, I believe it. What, who got sued for what? Talking about for the... Uh, Fighter's History game? There we go. Maybe this game should be in the readers, uh, the reviewer's roundtable. I feel like that would be a better spot to talk about it. I feel like that game has a guy with these sunglasses in it. <laughs> Bad game or a bullet hell? At least you get character choices in this one. Now, this one is a... Uh, Arcade game, you guys know generally I don't participate in those too much. Um, oh. because I'm stupid. Why do we do that as people? We build up these arbitrary rules around our lives that don't mean anything, <laughs> but for some reason we are so steadfast in these stupid arbitrary rules. Now, this game looks awesome, so <laughs> of course everybody's gonna vote for Fighter's History, right? I hope so. <laughs> These things are cool. They were like four or five dollars on Amazon, and wow. I'm I'm getting a little um, sunglass collection going for the, for my streams on the Four Slippy channel. Huh. Um, okay, so seeing what these games are, your options are. I, I'm not seeing bullet hell here. I'm just seeing a standard kind of kind of a standard shooter. Kind of reminds me a little bit of when we played Gunbird and things like that. So. Yeah. That's what I'm getting from this. So, we've had we've had similar things in the past, guys, but you know, we'll see what happens. Oh, Put Ken dropping uh, knowledge. All right. All right, I'm putting up the poll for three minutes. You guys will decide which game is this week's CA. Um, and then what I'll actually do is during this poll, I'll show you guys where we're keeping everything on Discord and make it all very easy for you. Um, okay. Your games, Fighters, History on the SNES, or Juwange for the arcade. Um, that being said, the poll is up. I am going to mute that and switch channels for a direction here. Um, you guys will be able to vote on that poll as we do this. I'm going to switch over here and show you guys Discord for a second. Up here at the top of Discord is the Games on Scanline Heroes. You can click on this. This is the performance channel. Let me move that, because that's where Foxy's playing in. Um, in the Games on Scanline Heroes, you'll see a number six up here. If you click on Threads, it'll show you Credits and Continues, Composite Channel, Saiyan, Foxy, Owaz, and The Bros. You can go to any of these to see games that we have uploaded in one capacity or another. Uh, in order for you guys to be able to enjoy them. And so, this one, of course, is our 80s Bros, um, where they have Slippy's Gonna Get You, the ALF version, Chewbacca Balboa, Super Caveman Chris. You'll also find here, if you click in here, this is where we will have all of the C&C games from now on. Um, and so what this is, is... For anybody that is has this thread for their name, if they want to upload games, or say you're watching Knocker play a game um, and Ballpoint Pen in the composite channel, you might say, hey, can you post this game for me? And they'll say, yes. And in turn, they will post it in that composite channel. Um, and that's where you'll be able to get it. So when you're looking for our games... Games on Scanline Heroes, go into the thread, and click on Credits and Continues. Now let's take a look at this poll real quick. We are seeing... Uh, Fighter's History is actually leading the Oh my gosh, Fighter's History is getting a That's big amazing. 
Wow. Mm -hmm. I was just kidding, guys. Don't don't be influenced by me. I mean, please do. <laughs> so there is one other thing that we want to show you guys, which is you can go down here under Allied Heroes or up here to announcements. We've already told you before, announcements will only be for strand or for scanline channel content, where yes. self-promotion is exactly that. But let's talk about how easy this is for you guys that we want to make this. If you go to self-promotion and you have your own Discord channel, you can click the follow button up here and it will ask you, where do you want this to go? And you can say, send it to Slippy's pad, which is my Discord, and I want it to go to the going live channel. And if I click follow, anybody that posts here, test post, can click publish, and it will repost it into the going live channel for you. Why is this so advantageous, you might ask, as Fighters History wins by two? It's advantageous right. because if Foxy and Knocker and Nay and Chazzy and the Vankmans and Rockstar Lexi and anyone else that has, you know, Sega Nick or Fireside, anybody that has a going live, I'm going to take Foxy here because he's with me and he has his community going live. So if he subscribed or followed to the going live when I said push or publish, it would push it to Foxy's community also. It's a way to make it easy that you could post one going live and have it show up in 30 different discords even. So if anybody needs a, a re-explanation of that, I will be happy to do that. But All right. For now, well, I got the game up. Do you guys yes. need the game posted? Because I can do that. Yeah, if you have it um, and you want to go ahead and post it, I say go for it. I got to load my game still. So if you want to post it in there, I'll load mine. Okay. <clears throat> and that's my, uh, that's my slippy talk. Okay. And so the hope of that, obviously, is Zoe's got to be one to bring it up. Um, oh. I've got to put a title and stuff. Woohoo! Good job, me. The hope is that <laughs> it, it won't be used for spam because we're a community, and it would be used to make life easier for everybody. I mean, imagine if you could place post a going live in one place, and it went to all these different communities. It seems yeah. like a no-brainer to me. The hell all is right. this game called? Fighters History. Okay. Yep, I got the game up. So I could start, or we could both start, or go whatever. Ahead. Yeah, go go for it. I got us both oh, up. Yeah, we are good us both to go up right now. Yeah, sweet. All right. Yeah, we are good to go. Uh, I guess CPU battle, right? That's what we're doing. Yes, all defaults. Yes, CPU. All default. 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 Yes. Oh, who do I want to be? Oh, I like this character, but. This one looks like me with the chains. Uh, Ryoko! There's nothing like Ryoko, if you guys know Tenchi. <laughs> Tenchi Moyo. Whoa! Go, Ryoko! Woo! I mean, you could be Goku at the top left, but I think I want to be this dude that's clearly straight out of... Um, I'm going to be Matlock. Um, Matlock? Yeah, Matlock. <laughs> Uh, he's clearly out of, um, Fist of the go, North Star. Go. Wow, he looks terrible. Well, Gene is doing nothing against me, so... Ah, okay. I don't know any special, but I'm gonna throw, and... There we go! Oh, yeah! It appears to be, yeah, a straight Street Fighter rip. Three-button, or six-button control game. Yep, this is on the SNES. I'm using SNES 9X Current. It's working just fine, so... So, this guy Matlock has charge moves. And he's basically just Guile. Oh! I wish I knew moves. I'm, 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 I'm try try, using I'm charge moves. Things. Huh? Try, um... Whoa! Try charge Whoa! moves. I just did something really cool. <laughs> Ryoko, win! Yeah, try using charge moves if, um, 
directional inputs aren't working. So core, down, down, forward, forward, punch or kick. And then try the same yeah. thing backwards. Ooh, and if those don't work... Girl that's here. Nice. Nice. Yeah, do uh, hold back, forward, shit like that, you know. Oh, I should always post going live stuff. For sure. Well... I mean, I, I always post my going live stuff because I want people there, but to each his own. I mean, I don't I don't care what anybody yeah. else does. I'm just saying, if you have your own Discord and you don't mind following, it would make it a lot easier ah! for everybody no. in the community that's trying to there we go. post their go live. Oh, to only post them in one I mean. place and have it go to... Now, if somebody uses an at everyone command, it will not translate that everyone command to your good. Discord, so you don't have to worry good. about it. Good, good, good. Glad for that. Yeah. At commands don't work. So... Ryoko wins! Round two, I love this already. It's... It's, it's, it's actually, slow. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not. It's just slow. Uh, yeah, uh, but I mean, it's... It, even then... So I'm gonna take a loss real quick and do some buttons here. A, B, X, Y, left trigger, right trigger, select start. That's okay, it was. Ryoko. Ryoko wins. So yeah, you get a bigger bonus the more health you have, of course. So, always recommend that. Okay. Alright. Ryoko. I don't like Versus this guy. Ryoko. Mirror match. It's your speed. <laughs> That's and it's okay. I mean, everybody streams for different reasons too, you know. So, yep. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Are you kidding me? She's following for the same pattern over and over again. But okay. Oh no, she's finally learned. Oh, that's how you uppercut. All right. Cool. Ah. It'll be interesting. I think a lot of it's going to be, can you not take so much damage? So it's like looking around to see which character can you do the most damage and take the least amount of damage, you know? So you get done really quickly. Yeah. Oh my god, he, she grabbed me in midair. That's cool. I want to learn nice. that. I picked a grappler. <laughs> I mean, anytime you see a huge guy eating oh! a chain, that guy's a grappler. <laughs> All the damage. No! My first loss! Hi! Ryoko loses. Whoa, Ryoko. No, Ryoko won actually, but okay, Round announcer. <laughs> ah. There we go. I have my buttons backwards. Combination. Oh my gosh. Get back here. Yeah! Yep. Points on 1cc. Oh, I got a special in! Woo! Nice. Okay. I like this character. <laughs> Ryoko wins. Ryoko wins. Yeah, we've we've done fighting games on here before. I mean, after playing this game for two rounds, this is a 100% Street Fighter ripoff. Oh, absolutely, in every yeah, way. Yeah, in every Matlock single is respect. Totally yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've seen Sonic Booms all over the place. Yeah, Except and he's got a flash kick. Character. So he has a flash like, kick and a Sonic Boom. This guy is yeah. clearly Geef. My character is... I think my character is Makoto. I think. Um, Makoto like wouldn't Makoto. have been out by now. I know that, but she acts like Makoto oh, regardless. Oh, okay, okay. It's weird. She's got like all maybe they, maybe Street Fighter copied, you know, Ryoko. Who knows? They do it. I mean, Street Fighter has taken a lot of characters straight out of. Um, you cannot set the difficulty. You do every. All you do is hit start. Remember, everything we do is it's pure default. defaults. So what difficulty? Press start. It's that difficulty. How did I do that grab? Ooh, okay. Strong attacks, too. Sweet. The spinning blade. Okay. Bop, 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 bop. 
I will, when one of us dies, we will go in and show you what the difficulty is on default, yep. sure. But, um, yeah. Now, re fighter. remember, everybody, tomorrow we got the 80s bros. On Tuesday, we're going to have Saiyan Shooter Club. On Wednesday, yep. we are going to have Saiyan will be back again with, uh, he usually does Neo Geo Wednesdays. Yep, we're not ready for other shows just yet. So. Yeah, and then on Friday, <laughs> we'll have um, Free Play Friday. I thought I changed the name of that. I'll, I'll yep, go in and change you. that. And um, But yeah, we have Free Play Friday on Fridays. And then Saturday is Knocker Crazy, right back here on Sunday. So um, yep. remember, if you want to stream here on the channel, anybody is allowed to. There's no credential. There's no anything that you have to do in order to stream with us. Ooh. We just want you to feel comfortable and free to do what you want to do. So, yep. and if you need help with anything like, like setting up, like sometimes you'll see like on Fridays, I have my my avatar that kind of lights up as I talk. If you need help setting something up like that, let us know. Yeah. Well, you know, we're all here to help build each other up. Yep. You don't need a camera. You <laughs> I don't need each other down during competitions, of course. But, right, ah, right. Oh my god, I got my ass kicked here. But yeah, ah. you don't need a camera. You don't need a um avatar. You don't need anything. We don't have any rules no. except it's PG thirteen. Um our whole thing is PG thirteen. We try try and not drop a bunch of F bombs and and that's only because we it's a community. You know, some yep. people are religious, some are not, some this, some that. So, um... Ooh, I got a cool move in. How do I do that? If somebody doesn't mind doing an exclamation schedule, it should have the, um... Free Play Friday now, instead of Friends Friday. Alright. Thank you for that. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, we decided to switch over to Free Play Friday, because it's all of us guys on, fr on Fridays. It's... Whatever we want to do, free play Friday. <laughs> this girl, Feline, is totally like Goku. Yeah, Feline? Oh, yeah, absolutely yeah. like Goku. Wow. Is there any end? I mean, I'm pretty sure once you beat all the characters, you're done, but. It should be a boss, yeah. Marsterus? Marsterus kind of is, is who I am. Um, he's a grappler, so just stay away because he can. He can continue grab you, like, combo Great. grab you. I mean, that basically is Zangief. But yeah, I mean, but better. But the problem is, I'm also kind of a grappler, too, so... Oh, are you? Yeah. There we go! Throw that guy! His buttons oh, are ridiculous. Cool I like this game! Wow! I don't... I didn't expect to actually like this game. <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked right now. Really? Oh, I barely won that fight. If I if I take a lot of damage and it, and I've you know if I if they haven't won two rounds, I just I I kind of die and then just try to do it again because I want more points. Yeah. What's your points at right now? Like two something, I think. Nice. All right, now I'm fighting Ryoko, your character. Oh, that. But yeah, um, Street Fighter has taken a lot of characters directly from JoJo. Rose is um, directly a JoJo character. Um, there's quite a few Street Fighter characters that are blatant ripoffs of JoJo's. And oh then God. they've also taken Relento is um, the sergeant from Fist of the North Star. Oh my gosh, I couldn't hit him the last. Oh yeah, Fist of the North Star? Yeah. So, Capcom has stolen their fair share, but it's also, you know, like, this game is a like, blatant 100% ripoff. I love this guy. I love this girl. She's got, like, a, a, a taunt, not a taunt, a victory pose, where she kind of looks at the camera and just goes, I'm like, that's so cool. I actually, when you <laughs> oh said taunt, God. I tried, I'm hitting, like, every button trying to find a taunt now. Yeah, I'm I was looking for a taunt. So, Ray is definitely... What is Ray? Ray's like Terry, basically. Looks like Terry from, uh... Well, Fatal Fury. I just broke Ryoko in half. Oh, it's totally Ryu. Never mind. Uh. Oh my gosh. 
Get away. Yeah, I'm surprised. I could say that I understand why this is a bad fighting game. I do understand that, but it's not a bad fighting game. No, I understand why people, you know, mm -hmm. the fighter's history about it all, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I understand. But all in all, it's not a bad fighting game. No. It's, it's pretty fun. I am impressed. I like this character a lot, too, so... Whoa. I like throwing people. I like learning new throws, if I can. Whoa. Like You're playing in my, front of um, Xander Creed's house right now. Or Xander Cruz's house. From Frisky Dingo. <laughs> oh, okay. Get my robot pants. Love that. Love that pose. Do, 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 do. It sounds almost like pilot wings a little bit. Oh, I'm going against Sagata. Oh, Mizuguchi. Mizuguchi? Gucci. My, my, my Gucci? What? Gucci. Mizoguchi. Gucci <laughs> just kicked you in the face. Me? So, yeah, he just did kick me in the face. Miso Ouch. Gucci, Miso Gucci, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Next time I'll have to play as Ayaka if I can find her. Nobody's going to understand that reference, but that's okay. Ugh. Actually, I or, feel like that's, um, I played a fighting, I was playing these really weird fighting games for a while when, um, Brian, BPN, was... He did, like, 30 or 40 fighting games hey, in a row. Hey, Lexi. And um, he played some really cool ones that were, like, one-off anime fighters. And so I really? went and behind him and was playing them. And I feel there's, like whatever character you just said is definitely in one of those games. Oh, Ayaka? Yeah. Oh, Ayaka's from an uh, anime called Tenchi Muyo. Oh, from Tenchi, okay. The fact that I'm playing Ryoko. Ryoko's one of the main characters from Tenchi also. Uh, it's like, I thought, hey, I'll play as... Uh, I think next time is, uh, or Rio Oki or um, Washu or someone. All my friends love Tenchi, wow. but they don't. Um, I loved it. I've never I seen Tenchi. it. <sighs> Lexi, you live in the mountains? Koto. I always wanted to live in the mountains. What's your score, RBK? You just beat the game? Oh my gosh, you beat the game already? Oh no. Tenchi was amazing. I love Tenchi. Oh, now I'm going against... This looks like... Um, what's his name? Adon? Is that is that what the guy's name is? It, it was Adon, yeah. Yeah, Adon? Yeah, Adon. A-D-O-N. 63,000? Oh my god! I'm only at 400 some thousand. Whoa! Quickly and untouchable. I got a, an achievement. Perfect. No! You got a perfect. Was, I'm going to have to play this game more. Ah! <laughs> That's my first Chivo that popped on Battle 9. Ugh. I'm up to 507. I'm at 529. I must have messed up somewhere. I didn't get enough points. You beat the final boss at two times perfect? Oh my god. Wow, that's impressive. What character that's, did you that's, use? That's gonna do it. Does it show what character you used? I would, I'd be interested to see. So that I could cheat and, and win. <laughs> <laughs> Playing as this grappler girl. She's okay, but yeah. I really like Mars Tord. Fighter's history. Mars Tord. <laughs> RBK is all pissed off. Like, man, I was hoping people would choose Gwanga, but nope. Everyone chose Fighter's history. Wait, am I at the final boss? Yeah. <laughs> Clown. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, 10 plus perfects? Oh my god. You you played it on default? Mine's on default, yeah. Well, not you, but him with 10 plus perfects. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Pick a card! I've never Impressive. played this game before. This is actually pretty awesome, though. And I'm getting my, my ass kicked here. Oh, there we go, throw! I like how I have the Ryu colors. Like... Makoto has the orange with the blue bandana. It's yeah. awesome. But absolutely, I can see why Capcom was pissed off at this game. Mm hmm I mean, even like the death, the the win victory versus death that you're going to see here with the, their beat up and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this is totally a ripoff of Street Fighter in every way. 
Oh, I got the cool grab. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That did so much damage. What? I have a tumble? Okay, I just learned about a tumble. <laughs> and it hurts him. How stupid is that? That's so great. You just did a roll, oh. and he came down and got hurt by it. <laughs> that is so stupid. And my high score is 636,000, it looks like. Go back to kitty parties. Oh, there's another final boss? What? Karno Karnov? Wait a minute, are we talking the same Karnov? Oh, you just swept like it's Mortal Kombat? He just played like it was Mortal Kombat and did down hard kick. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Well, I'm at 638,000 right now, so... Oh! I, this is my first Dizzy! <laughs> you got him or he got you? Yeah, Karnov is in this game, apparently. I got him. And who's Karnov? Did, have you ever played the game Karnov on the NES? No. Except in that game, he was more of a big... Guy. Oh, Data East. They're both Data East. Okay. Ken called it. James East. Oh, they're both Data East. Okay. Ooh, he I looks like a, a, a Bobo. A little bit. <laughs> oh, thanks for playing. I'll try a harder mode. Wait. <laughs> okay. 709,700 is my high score. So I just outdid RBK by a little bit. Oh shit, they even straight up stole the, uh, the effect of when you're on fire. That is completely 100% <laughs> out of... Game end. That's it? Oh no! Well, now I have to get a higher score, and I have to wait for the... score to show up. Skip ahead, skip ahead. Show the high scores. Oh my god, they're showing all the stories. A man seeking revenge. There we go! Oh yeah! The, the sequel oh, really? to this on Neo Geo called Karnov's Re Really? Karnov's Revenge is the sequel to this? Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Got that done. Now I got to try out uh, Feline or whatever her name is. See how she plays. How they, I mean, they had to get in trouble for this, and you, you said they did. They had to get in trouble for this. this yeah, Ken posted a link and everything to it. Yeah, it's so crazy. All right, have a good night, RBK. Have a great it's night, like, RBK. Like, 2 o'clock over there, maybe? 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock rock? Something like know. that? I've, I've given up on math. All right, so you gotta post my score. Oh. do 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 so what kind of scores we got so far? I got 750. Oh, oh so RBK played as Makoto also. Or not Makoto, Ryoko. Alright. Interesting. We both chose Ryoko. Well, I got 750. Oh no, Slippy! How dare you with Mars... Whatever his name is. Yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so let's look at what the defaults are. Yep. Set up. Defaults. It's on easy. Time limit on, speed normal, sound. So it's all defaults. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a very easy and easiest also. Yikes. Wow, there's a lot of difficulties for this game. Yeah, so we're <laughs> just going on easy, and yep. that'll be it. Time, yep, time limit on. It speed takes a normal. little while to get through it, though. You know, that took like a good 20 minutes or so to get through that. Yeah, it's all about, you know, choosing who you think you could survive the longest. I would mm -hmm. say specials really don't do too much, at least from what I've seen. It's more of your health. Get you, keep your health way up high, mm -hmm. and you'll be fine. And quick. So most fighting games, you want to get that. Keep that health up and kill them quick. Yep. Get as many points for the timer as you can. Now, I posted the wrong scene. I showed the ranking, but... Oh, it's fine. It's still in there. Yeah, what what those what they showed the thank you for playing fighters history you know you you know you are getting better yeah that's a that's a probably your best screen to post so. oh yeah 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 I dig that yep I dig that okay interesting so game cool. this week yeah I dig Curious that to see what kind of scores we're gonna get mm -hmm. I know RBK is kind of pissed off because we didn't get Kawanga but you know oh he'll be okay it happens <laughs> he'll be okay now wow. the question. 
I don't know if there is or not. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ask if there is a way to unlock the characters we can play as, like Clown or Carnob or things or things like that. Do we count those guys if you put in a code? No, no, because no. we, we only do defaults. Defaults, okay. Yeah. No, so since curious. we only do de- no, it's a good question, but yeah, since we only do defaults, it would be only the exact what's available at the direct. Um, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. but yeah, I just. Yeah. Wanted to throw that out there. To case, no, it's case. it's a great idea. So why don't we look at um, switch over here on that? Why don't we look at real quick the monthly <laughs> melee, shall we? Sounds good. And see what everyone can do there. All right. Now that we're kind of switching over to a thing. Whoa, my goodbye ears. Yeah. Yeah. I really do want to be a clown, Gracie. I mean. Pick a card. <laughs> then I played characters. Like, I played characters like Twisted Fate and such on leagues or in leagues. So yeah, it was all about the cards for me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've always <laughs> loved Gambit. How can you not love Gambit? Oh, Gambit too. Yeah, Gambit's yeah. a great character. Yeah. Yeah, I love Gambit. And yeah, Harley Quinn. I've always been in love with Harley Quinn. Um, Mr. J. Yeah. I can't do Harley's voice. Whatever. You can. So no. Let's no. look at our monthly <laughs> melee, everybody. This is a um. You can get six points. Ah, oh, fuck it. I don't know fingers. You can get six points every month. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. For just doing these little, easy little snippet competition things. For one point this month, we present to you a riddle. Solve the riddle. Post the answer. Um, a screenshot of the answer. And you will get one point. In December, Saiyan got a lot to see. Some games with a sword that you lay down for an axe. Will you know the brown planet of three? Earn one point so you're not dead last. Now, now just to clarify... Oh, sorry. No, go ahead, <laughs> go, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna, now to clarify, there are some people that may have gotten this already. So mm-hmm. just, if you want to follow their example or think you know what their example is, or just go ask. for it. Yeah, just ask. We'll tell you. Yep. Um, yep. it's that easy. And then for two points, welcome to the machine. Beat the yep. second boss on Batman on NES. What I now think of as the easy Batman game. The um, easy Batman game? After playing the adventures of Batman and Robin, this is the easy oh, Batman it. game. <laughs> so, yeah, go ahead and, um, and, and beat that machine boss. Yes. And then for three points, in OutRun on the Sega Genesis, travel the right road the game. Yeah. Yep. Beat the entire game, taking every right path you can. Mm-hmm. That's three points, guys. And by the way, you guys have one more week to do this. So, uh, by next stream, or next... Uh, that's right. So oh, no, no, no. They, they have... Sorry. No, they have two weeks, right? Because next week, they're still eligible, and then it's on midnight of the 4th, the carryover to the 5th. It's the first oh, week of right. the... Yeah, you so are, you guys have two you weeks are still. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's Saturday the fourth at midnight, which is the switch over to the fifth. That's the cutoff. That's where you're you done. Two, you basically you have just about two weeks, guys. Yeah. So so get in luck. there, get your points in, show us what you're mahaed of, and <laughs> um, Foxy and I are going to take a a short break here for a moment, and we will be back. After these commercial breaks, this commercial break from 1983. 83? 83. 83. I see your mom fixed your SpaghettiOs and meatballs. Yep. Why? It is delicious. Why else? Well, maybe she fixed them for you because they're more than just delicious. Did you know they contain more vitamin A than a glass of whole milk? Vitamin A? And as much protein as a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Protein? Even more iron than Brussels sprouts. What's a Brussels sprout? Kids may not know what's nutritious, but they do know what's delicious. Franco American is more than just delicious. I could just scream. What now? Judy had six care. Hold Hold it, bub. Forget something? Okay, Mom. And I have to stand on my ear to get her to brush. How did you do that? Oh, Bobby likes the taste of AIM. I think he even brushes longer. And checkups? Great checkups. You can't beat AIM for finding cavities. Well, either I switch to AIM or... 
We switch kids. Take AIM against cavities, regular and mint. We remembered all of our lives! Oh, you're all stars. Thanks. Thanks. Whatever I do, I give it my all. Even laundry. Look, stage makeup. So I'm glad there's new Advanced Stain Formula All. Used regularly, Concentrated All now does an even better job than the leading detergent on the worst stain, greasy, oily dirt. So my whole wash is clean. You're the real star of our show. Give it your all. With new Advanced Stain Formula Concentrated All. Hi, I'm Carlo Rossi, and this is my wife, Faria. See this vine? It is 43 years old. It doesn't produce many grapes anymore, but the quality is better than ever. <laughs> Carlo has always said that some things improve with age. <laughs> Only quality grapes go into Carlo Rossi wines. That's why our burgundy is so smooth and full-bodied. I think you'll enjoy it. I like talking about Carlo Rossi burgundy, <laughs> but I'd rather drink it. Wednesday, a mysterious woman lures Jake. What's going on? Into the world of secret agents and seduction on the gold monkey. Then Buddy's back, ah! and so's his memory. You're the one hit me. He's a millionaire on the run, the ball guy. And a poison mind is the first step. They're vapors in the paint. To madness and murder. You're killing him. On Dynasty. Ah! Watch Wednesday here on ABC. Malibu will continue in a moment. Happy Days and Laverne and Shirley will be seen Tuesday immediately following the Pitt versus Boston College game. Basketball at 8, followed by Happy Days, then Laverne and Shirley. All Tuesday, beginning at 8, on Channel 4. Eastern Airlines presents a flight of imagination to Walt Disney World Epcot Center. On an Eastern Super 7 vacation, a week here without airfare is as little as $156, including hotel, car, and more. How can we do this? Why, as the official airline of Walt Disney World, we can work a little magic of our own. Fly Eastern, America's favorite way to fly. AM Pittsburgh, weekdays at 10. Experience, Experience a sophisticated new front-wheel drive road car. Experience, Experience the all-new Mazda 626 Sport Coupe, Sport Sedan, and unique five-door touring sedan. Experience its new two-liter overhead cam engine and patented independent rear suspension. Experience. It's time to experience the all-new Mazda 626. Experience. experience outstanding performance, luxury, and value. The more you look, the more you like the Mazda Experience. If you hate that wet, icky feeling under your arms... Why use a roll-on or spray antiperspirant that's wet? Start your day dry with Speedstick Super Dry Antiperspirant. It's the wide stick. Effective protection with more dryness to help fight wetness. Needs just a few strokes and goes on dry. So you can get dressed right away. No wetness. Get the wide stick. So dry you can get dressed right away. Speedstick Super Dry Antiperspirant. By Menon. Two times the might, two ways to fight. It's Batman's new Duo Force with incredible two-in-one vehicle technology. Mr. Freeze fires an icy sky attack. Now with Duo Force, Turbo Surge Batman changes his turbo flight machine into a hammering hover sled. And with Duo Force, Airstrike Robin's paraglider converts into a thundering air runner. Now turn up the power even more as the dynamic duo interlock to rock crime. Mr. Freeze thought out with ease. Batman's Duo Force. Two times the might, two ways to fight. Figures come with vehicles each sold world of the city polluting the streets it's time to take out the trash fight through incredible 3d animation against gotham city's vilest villains in sega's adventures of batman and robin video game grafik und animationen in absoluter videoqualität batman spielabläufe voller spannung und dramatik beinharte tricks Batman für deinen Gameboy und jetzt neu für dein Super NES Batman und Robin. Super starke Videospiele-Action von Konami. I wonder. The Ultimate Video Collection. 
The Adventures of Batman and Robin. Showtime. It's their greatest battles with their most fearsome enemies, the Riddler. He's the only one worthy of the game. Batman and Robin are trapped inside a dangerous game where the only rule is... They have to match wits with the Riddler. Look out! Two-Face. The dynamic duo come face to face with Two-Face, a criminal mastermind who's really flipped out. Snuff the bat! Hurry, Batman! The Joker. <laughs> the Clown Prince of Crime has a Christmas surprise in store for Gotham City. This one's for you. Plus the complete untold story of Robin, the secrets of his past, and how he came to be. I've got a job to do. Four thrilling adventures. Four awesome videos. The Adventures of Batman and Robin. Hello. Hello. Are Hi. we unmuted? <laughs> you're, you're unmuted. We're good to go. We have with us today Knocker Crazy. Say hello, Knocker. Is is Knocker going to say hello? I don't hear nothing. Okay. Well, Knocker will be joining us in just uh -oh. a moment. Um, <clears throat> Why do I not hear anything? Yeah, I don't hear Knocker either. But, I mean, we're all set up, so hello? as soon... Oh. Sorry about that. Yeah, we're all oh. set up. We're all good to go. We just don't right, hear just Knocker. Sure. <laughs> yeah, no, we just don't hear I'm Knocker. Not, um, so I'm he might have... Oh, you are here. Hello. Okay, cool. Hey, so we are going to go back in time to 1994, where back Konami self-published an amazing video game. Um, but -da, da da Did I have to fix the portal on real quick? All right. And so, the Adventures of Batman and Robin, of course, based on the the TV series, um, Arkham Asylum, the least secure asylum in modern times, has seen its umteenth umteenth break I don't know, breakout, and once again, all of Gotham's criminals they're on the loose. It's up to Batman and Robin to put a stop to the Joker, the Riddler, Poison Ivy, the Penguin, Catwoman, Two-Face, and Scarecrow. Also Man-Bat. So they can be locked up again and then escape for the next episode. Um, it's up to Batman and Robin, but in reality, it's very much a Batman-only action platformer, despite the name. Robin is relegated to cutscene roles. And good old batters can equip himself with all different types of gadgets. Some, what's the point? Um, he has his trademark battering, grappling gun. You also see he has a gas mask, x-ray goggles, flashlight, smoke bombs, plastic explosives. And a spray gun that makes enemies fall down when you spray him with it. Now, Robin is barely in this game because the game is based on Batman the Animated Series, which later would morph into The Adventures of Batman and Robin. Um, it was well into development when the second season was renamed. So, Batman the Animated Series was renamed, but this game was already almost completed when that change happened. So, that's why there's nearly any Robin in it. This information coming to you from Chris Scullion's book, Unofficial Guide to the Super Nintendo. Okay. What do you got for us, Foxy? For this game? Oh, yeah. No. What do you What I do just, you know? What do you got? Uh, for me, it's always just childhood memories. Um, yeah. That was basically what I was going to talk about with my friends. and Like, my friends and I, we would just... It would be... Batman was my first dark show yeah. that I got into. This yeah. is like right before X Men, right before a bunch of other shows that had deep. Sure. Real, it, it it it. I loved the show. I loved how mm -hmm. it didn't talk us talk down to us basically, mm -hmm. for being kids. And I think yeah. it, it was a big risk at the time too, mm -hmm. for being that way. So because the movie was just like the the dark because everybody was so used to Adam West Batman, mm -hmm. and then 
the, the Tim Burton's Batman came out, and then we got the animated series. It was like, okay, we got this dark tone. Mm -hmm. But then when ba I actually dropped out around the time that Batman and Robin really picked uh. up. So I never gave this game a chance until we played it this week. Yeah. So, now, yeah. what's interesting about this game and the series, and I know Knocker will go into detail with this, is everything in this game is directly out of the show. It's out of things that occurred in the first season of the show. Hey, I'm jumping around. It occurred. It's everything <laughs> that occurs in the first season of the show, from the, these giant toy soldiers to the uh, the the ride that he goes on to uh -huh. Clayface and Man Bat and and everything. Um, it's really a love letter. This game um, and no gray ghost and. I actually hate when people say, oh, it's the Dark Souls of, you know, this game is the Dark Souls of dot dot dot. And this game, I think, is the actual first game that I feel like is the Dark Souls of anything. It, um, it's not hard. And so Knocker and I were going back and forth on this. I said, this is the hard Batman game. And he said, no, that's the... That's the NES one. And I said, no, that's the easy one. Mm -hmm. But the reality of it truly is, is that this game, just like Dark Souls, if you just practice it enough, it becomes quite easy. Uh, we watched Knocker beat the entire game in one session yesterday. Yeah. And yeah. so it really is, if you just learn the enemies, it becomes quite an easy game. It does. Um, it, but I feel like a lot of games do get that way, but mm -hmm. this one kind of... Much more so, I think, yeah, because so, this yeah. game also has the really cheap death mechanics. Yeah. Um, I can't tell you how many times I, on this uh, uh, roller coaster, jumped at the end of it, or rolled at the end of it, and because of the perspective mm -hmm. change... I lost my whole footing and I died. Or I tried to drop kick the enemy, the Joker, and you can't. There's no platform. You just die. And, and mm -hmm. you know, all these little different ways, even when you beat him before you have to go physically fight him, um, after you beat him here, there's a part where if you don't jump at the correct time, you just die. And there's too much of that in this game. Um, but that being said, that's my only real negative about the whole game. I give it to you to discuss. Me, yeah, whoever. So, yeah, like Slippy said, this is very, very close to the cartoon. All the episodes are, or all of the levels are loosely based on episodes of the show with all the different characters from the show, like Poison Ivy, Joker, Penguin, Two-Face, everyone, Scarecrow, and... Even some of the other characters, like Barbara Gordon's in this, and uh, Commissioner Gordon. Yep. So they definitely got it down with the source material. And even, like, the music is, like, pretty similar to the show, and the way mm -hmm. that the style is. The well, main theme song is on the title screen. And the first level. The whole first level is the theme song of the show. Yeah. Um, just, and they sound just... very good. Just mm -hmm. one quick interruption. Yeah. For those who did play it this week, feel free to throw a review into the Twitch chat right now. Yes. We rate our games on a rating of five stars. Mm -hmm. You can go, you know, 3.5, 3.6, whatever you feel the game deserves. Um, go ahead, throw your review on there. We will read it out. And yep. Yeah. And here we got with Mew Mew. All right. We got one from Mew Mew here. It says, looks eight, audio eight, pop and play six. Replayability, 6, fun 7, total 3.5. Very good. Now, we also have from Chris and Ken, who both gave it a 3.5 individually. Chris says, it's a little slow, but the graphics are nice. And Ken says, it's a solid game. It felt good, even though I'm not a fan of the series. And that's a big thing for Ken. Because usually, not being a fan of the series for Ken means he really just doesn't have any interest in it whatsoever. But... Yeah. He superseded that this week and said, no, it's, I actually really, it's, it's a good game. I give it a 3.5. It's really solid, despite how I feel about it. 
you know, um, the series. Now, Cosmic is going to come in with a 3... Um, 3.4, I believe. Oh, 3.4, okay. Um, and saying, I like the graphics and gameplay. It's fun. I don't know what to say about it, though. And that's, it's a good point. It is, it looks great. And it controls really well. Um, the music, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> Hey Girl. That's uh, Hey Girl, yeah. <laughs> that's it's Chazzy. Hey girl. We call her Chazzy. So... So, yeah. Cosmic, you're giving it a 3.4? Is that mm -hmm. what it is? Mm-hmm. And or you want to read Saiyans five? out? I can read Saiyans out, no Please. problem. So, Saiyan says, So, overall, it's a very good game. I really enjoyed the controls and gameplay. What stood out to me was the level design. The details in each level were wonderful. I loved the show, and that love transferred to this game. Reef, I'd give it a 2. Overall, this game, to me, is a hidden gem on the SNES. For me, I would um, give it a 4... Overall, nice, good score. Yeah. And what I like about this game is there's a ton of animations, and if you just stand there and punch with Batman, he only throws jabs until you get a second hit, and then he'll throw a hook. You can walk up and grab a guy and throw him into someone else. There's a lot of options of what you can do. You can even throw a batarang at an armed opponent, and it will hit them, and they'll drop their weapon. Um, right. what's very cool is they don't use line of sight necessarily or straight line gunfire. As you saw there, they're shooting guns, but the gun has no projectile really. Um, the guns will hit you if you're within range. And so it's quite cool how it's not like, oh, I'm just going to walk up and duck under them because they're not stupid. They'll just shoot you in the head. Yeah. Um, and it's very cool how that works. I, I think animation-wise, it I mean, like, ugh, how they move, everything, it mm -hmm. all looks like the cartoon. I think very that's much. what I love about it. Very it much, looks, and it's so it smooth. Looks... Yeah. Yep. And these chicks, I, I mean, they're beautiful. That's definitely the best part for me. So. Yeah, yeah. It's got good-looking enemies. Death by Snoo Snoo enemies, you know, they're, they're kind of ripped. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah. Um... No, it, it does, it, it's like you're playing the cartoon, and there's even parts where we were talking about this, and Knocker had said, well, that's something that he had read, um, is how people compare it to the level of learning you need to do in it, um, where I say Dark Souls-esque. Um, it feels like, hey, you have to be the detective in these parts. Yeah. You know, you have to play as the world's greatest detective. Right. Very, very good stuff, I feel. I do like that the controls play it from what I did play. Um, it feels a lot like the NES Batman as far as like the wall jumping and stuff. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I don't know. Just a lot of really nice controls. So. It feels like an upgrade to the NES Batman. Yeah. Um, in a yeah. big way. Now, and I That's wonder exactly how... how I like, because I play the NES Batman so much, it's an easy game to me up until level, like, four or five. But I do wonder if I played this game as much, would it feel the same way? And I think it would, because, I mean, you see Knocker just plowing through it in just a week or two of practice playing it. Um, what's that thing look like? Crazy stuff in here, yeah. What's, what's that thing look like to you? Uh... Well... It looks like a cloister from Pokemon to me, so... Yeah? That's the green yeah. one? With the scales and stuff? Uh, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Grace said it looks like Audrey 2 to her. Why does it have one giant whip arm? That throws me <laughs> off. C yep, Seymour. Yep, definitely. Yeah, yeah it's Audrey 2. Yep, I get that side. Mm-hmm. It does. It it has. That's a big gaping mouth. Very sharp teeth. Could we assume this thing's gender, based on what it looks like? What gender do you think this? Assume? Did you just assume my gender? I don't gender? think it has a gender. I don't no. know. I can't assume it's a gender. I don't no. know. Right. I don't see it. <laughs> PG thirteen. I'm not saying anything off bad. I'm just literally asking questions of what do you think it looks like? 
To me, it, lo it almost looks like it's a zippered up thing. Like, it, it, it looks kind of like the Tick would fight this thing. Like, Chairface Chippendale like, or, like, know, like El Seed would create it. Like, you know, you get you get your ugly sweaters, but then you have your, like, your ugly blouses that have the buttons in the middle. Yeah. Kind of. yeah. That reminds me of one of those. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> in the nicest that. way, I feel like that's what it is. Yeah. I dig that. <laughs> Good kill. Good kill, Knocker. Knocker, what do you think about this game? Okay, so the main reason that I picked this one was because for the uh, console challenge that OAS was holding. And this was one of the Super Nintendo games. I was like, oh, this is one I never really went through and beat. So maybe this would be a good time to finally get to it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the animation in this is stellar. Like... A lot of other Konami uh, titles had this, like Animaniacs did also, and Tiny Toons and Ninja Turtles. But I almost feel like this one looks even closer to the show than those ones did. Mm -hmm. Like, it's stellar in terms of what they did on the Super Nintendo yeah. for the animation. I agree. And I, I accidentally loaded thing. up the Genesis version. It's night and day difference. Night and day difference. The Genesis looks so bad in comparison. Uh, last so time I Genesis, saw, hmm? oh, I was gonna say the last time I saw the Genesis version, I watched uh, Cassievania and Rockstar Lexi play it together, mm. and there was some struggle there. <laughs> yeah, I, it just looks so bad in comparison to the Super Nintendo version. The Super Nintendo version looks really, really great. Um, I'm going to give this one a four point two i think okay um i just think it it looks it sounds the um all of the little add-ons of well um, i only need this for one level like the flashlight or like the x-ray goggles or the thermal goggles but they really make for fun gameplay yeah it it, it took a little bit at first because there was so much i was like what 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 do I need all of these for? Am I wasting them right away? Once mm -hmm. I got into it and knew what to do with all of them, like the battering was fun. Even though the battering's weak in the first stage, it's yes. fun later on. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I had a good time with this game. Um, I'm kind of in the boat that it's like a pretty fun game to play. I would play it again. Um, mm -hmm. It's not like my favorite. If I had a Batman favorite, it would be like the NES or... Yeah. Um, man, the Arkham games later on, but that's later on. We don't, <laughs> but, uh, but from back then, I would give this game probably a 3.5. All right. I'd say it's worth. So basically, um, overall, what I thought of this was, you know, I kind of had a hard trouble or a hard time getting through it at first. Like this stage was pretty difficult trying to find all of the uh, locked up workers, I guess. <laughs> the staff members in here. And it was not not easy at first, but then once I went through it, it was like, okay, now it's not too bad once I know where to go through. Mm -hmm. Like, what to do. So, this game definitely takes a lot of memorization, like a bunch of other games around this time. Mm -hmm. uh, but overall, the levels look really nice. They're all pretty unique. And you brought up the Genesis version, which is a unique thing, or, and a good thing to bring up, because both games are very different from each other. Uh, one of them is like a side-scrolling shooter, almost, and then this one's more like a, a side-scrolling beat-em-up platformer with a bit of problem-solving, which mm -hmm. I definitely like more, because it makes you think. I mean, you can mindlessly go around and hit people and like, beat them up like this, but it makes you really uh, think what you're doing and mm -hmm. uh, kind of adds a layer of uh, strategy to it, a layer of memorization. Some people might not like that, but I definitely enjoyed it, and it made the levels feel really fresh. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah. It, 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 they all, it, it, I just, again, I love how it, it just feels like the com the, the show yeah there's a lot of games that you play them and you're like well mm -hmm. i'll give you the best example turtles 
where are those bats and flame guys sure. and frogs that we see in the Turtles game? Absolutely. Whereas here, the enemies, the scenery, everything you see, it looks... I mean, even with limitations back mm -hmm. then, they made games that gave you that feel of you're part of yeah. this thing, you know, this franchise, part of what's going on here. This always felt that way. I never felt like, oh, this doesn't really belong here. Yeah. Like, it all felt like it had that dark grittiness that was really cool with it, so... Now, there's a man named Paul Dini. Paul um, was the artistic director of the show. And I feel like he had a big hand in the game because it looks so similar. And, um, you know, Paul Dini created Harley Quinn for the show, and she was adapted into the comics as canon, which is something that never happens. Right. Um, and I think Paul is in charge of some of what DC does now as a whole. But either way, I feel like that guy, like, his vision, exactly what you're saying, his vision really translates well into this game. And it's just... It's just beautiful. Like you're making your own show with the game. Yeah, that's actually it right yeah. there. Yeah. Um, that's exact, exactly how I feel with it. You guys were talking about how it was pretty challenging, and yeah... It definitely is difficult, even on the uh, the easier settings, but I think the challenge in it overall is pretty fair. Mm-hmm. Compared to a lot of other games. Well, I agree. Games. I agree. You know, whenever you have a console game, they didn't want to make it too easy because they wanted you to get your money's worth out of it. So there was always this great difficulty in it, you know, or Ghosts and Goblins, repeat the game twice. Or, you know, they always had these things in it. And it's just about learning the game. And the one thing that definitely makes it easier that a lot of people might not have noticed is that you have the option to go back to the Batcave if you missed any items mm. that you didn't get used. But it also, if you go back to the Batcave, it refreshes your continues. So you technically have infinite continues and oh. a password system on e the easy and normal settings. Really? So hard mode does nothing but lower the amount of lives you get via points mm. and removes the password system how interesting and okay quite long but it's not exactly like it doesn't overstay its welcome for all of you uh freaks out there there is a retro achievement set for this yes there is and how the hard would you say that is to get so, the damageless bosses for them was certainly tricky, but they do have patterns you can remember. I saw you drop-kicking uh, Catwoman into Oblivion yesterday. Yep, that's a yeah. trick that I uh, found with Catwoman, which we, depending on how fast I go, we might actually see. Mm -hmm. And if you do that, you can practically just defeat her with no issues. As long mm. as you keep the pattern up. And there's a lot of pattern recognition here. A lot of uh, use of your items, like the batarangs can stun bosses. And enemies, like you said, where some of them drop their guns. You were telling us yesterday about the replayability options of this game. And that is to say, different pathing you can take to accomplish different goals. Could you talk about that a little bit? Well, for the most part, it's kind of linear, but sometimes, I mean, you can go at it a different way with different abilities, like well, using the rolling or... I'm, I'm thinking of, you were in Catwoman stage, and you had an extra cutscene that you said, oh, you oh. didn't even have to do this, this is you have to go out of your way to get this thing, and then go back, and it's just an extra little Easter egg you could go through. Yeah, that's it's basically an Easter egg with Catwoman where you can find her cat Isis and mm -hmm. return the cat to her or you don't but it's a little easter egg that I think was a pretty neat touch that I didn't even know until I was going for the achievements for this and it's like oh I can go through these doors to find a health power up in the cat mm -hmm. yeah little, there we go little, little things to find little details that they throw throughout all of it yeah yeah, yeah really cool they did a good job with that. 
Yeah, really cool. But it's it's game. weird, and the reason why I sc I scored it so low. This sounds really oh. weird. I think it's the music. Like mm. for me, like the music is fine. It's it it, it it's the same feel as the show Very in a much. way. But I don't know. I like the the upbeat, more like the NES. You know, mm -hmm. I know something about that. It's just the up. I like the upbeatness, even though this music does set the setting really well yes. I yeah know. i don't know that, but that's just that's personal opinion on that mm -hmm. like, it it doesn't take away from the fact that it it is like it but it's just i, I like upbeat stuff when i'm beating things up i don't know that's just, yeah that's just me i like more upbeat no i understand that and yeah the, yeah. the focus of this show was to have a 20s 30s-esque feel yep. to it and the music does portray <clears throat> that look at that fatty cobble pot there he is. Yep. We get to fight the best Batman villain. Vulture or eagle or whatever. It's a vulture, yeah. Is. Even though he's a penguin. You just punched... Well, they're both scavenger birds. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is the thing. So, it's close enough. This, the music in this I didn't like too much at first, but then when I started playing this, I was like, oh, I really do like the, uh, the music here. Like, it certainly feels like the show, and for what mm -hmm. it is, it fits... Like, it's mm -hmm. not like the Sunsoft upbeat, mm -hmm. like, masterful music or anything. Right. Yeah. It's something that fits the source material, which I think is something really, really nice that they did to add on. Yeah. Yeah, I think that this game was just done so well. What would you score this at, Knocker? So I left a little blurb if, for those of you who checked the. Uh, okay, let me check that now. I actually did leave a, a small little review, and I edited it after I went through hard mode and easy mode for the achievements. Since Dumb. all three difficulties, they're pretty much the same. Easy mode cuts out some enemies and stuff, and makes some of the levels easier. And, but for the most part, the only big difference is the ending uh, text between Batman and Alfred. Where did you post your review? It should be in the uh, OWAZ's uh, console challenge. Oh, okay. Okay, it's on the spreadsheet for the console challenge. Oh, okay. if it's on the spreadsheet, so, that's why I don't see it here. So what is what? Just what is your score right now? <laughs> you give this. Yeah, I don't have I don't have that spreadsheet open. Well, overall, right, I uh, I gave this a. Uh, I originally gave it a 4 out of 5, but I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5, which is what I have on the spreadsheet, because okay. the more I played this, the more I really enjoyed it, and the more I really liked some of the battles and the action segments and some of the nice touches, mm -hmm. like a lot of the visual stuff with the flashlights and stuff. Yeah. And how I close guess. it was to the show, so... Yep, I see Overall, over here. Yep. 4.5 out of 5 is my score for this beautiful by the way i would play as robin if robin was in this so. yeah if it, it's it is the adventures of batman and robin so why would i not play robin because well, you could be batman who wouldn't play as robin oh one I wouldn't. thing i wanted to mention i'd play as batman if you're listening to the music for catwoman stage this is actually a theme that plays when she's on screen on the show sometimes yeah. Which is a really nice touch that they really represented the character. Yeah. Like, perfectly. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they did great with it. You've got a long way to go. Well, if no one else has a review for us, what are we that at? is going to lock us in at a 3.7. Well, I guess it round up. 3.8. Round up to 3.8. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that is a good game. Definitely a good game. And I mean, Not I know bad. it's a good game when the 80s bros both agree that it's it's got over, uh, you know, a three. Yeah. A, when a the majority 80s bros of people agree. had it right at the mid three. Yeah, mid yeah. three. Between three and four. So. I feel like the Not thing that hurt it was that it's, uh, it's difficult. And yep. you know us, we're a bunch of uh, babies. Try at least I am. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no. Non tryhards, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> There's a yeah. few of us that are tryhards. But... Yeah, I'm not a tryhard. I'm a baby. Get your hand. 
baby. That's me. Um. So yeah. <laughs> All right. So locked in at a 3.8. Fantastic. I'm actually impressed because normally we get like our 4.5s from people and then we get like a two or something mm -hmm. and it kind of averages at that point. Mm -hmm. Here, I feel like everyone kind of stayed in the three to four range. Yeah. Like, there wasn't really anything that strayed from that. So overall, it was a pretty solid game for us, for most people here. Yep. That's, I, I think that's, I, I, I kind of find that more impressive actually than, you know, yeah. something of a higher degree, but you know, you had some low end too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, I find I that agree. interesting that everyone kind of had a good time with it, regardless of it, you know, whether, you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I totally agree. And yeah, putting it at a 3.8 makes it our 38th number three ranked game. Um, wow. It's a lot of games. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there he is. He just saved Isis the kitty. We'll bring it to Catwoman. Unless right. you guys want to... Uh... Yeah, that's going to be it for us here. Um, we're going to switch over to the wheel. You crushed it today, though, man. I mean, I wouldn't have got past level, like, one. So, great job. Let's watch you. We'll watch you beat up Catwoman and then give back Isis, and then we'll switch over to the wheel. And if you want to see the rest of the game, then check out the VOD from last night where I went through all of it. It is available on our YouTube already. Yep. Um, we're doing our best to put everything on there. I have slowly been working on putting things into folders and playlists and eventually organizing those. But I've been sick, and so I haven't been on my computer at all, and it's just Thank another thing the... on my list. Thank you for all you do with that, Slippy. Sure, no I, problem. I appreciate that a lot. No problem. And again, for any of you that have a Discord, um, if you don't mind following our going live and announcements channels, it just makes it easier for everybody to be able to look at him, Stevie. I love that thing. Hey. It, it just makes it easy for people posting their going lives. Oh, she gave him the whip. And we return to ISIS. You beat me up. Thank you for taking care of my cat. Kindness needs to be earned. <laughs> but he just beat the crap out of her. So there's that. Right? I mean, he just beat her down. Wow. And out of seven stages, Knocker took us through four stages today. And what will happen in transit? Well, you'll have to check the VOD for that. That's right. That's right. And now it is wheel time. Knocker, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Yeah, thank you Would so you much, Would you like Knocker. to keep your game uh, as Contra Hard Corpse, or would you like to change it? I would like to change my game to a game sure. I've been playing for a couple days now and one I'll be playing for a couple months, and that is Sparkster on the Super Nintendo. Okay. Yeah. So. Sparkster on the Super Nintendo it is. Thank you again, sir. Great choice this week. Good choice. Thank you. And yeah. uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, we'll see you in the chat. Yeah, we'll see you there. Uh, Cosmic saying, I don't have a game for either of you guys, but for the rest of us, Foxy, you got Kirby's Dream Land 3 on the SNES. Oh, there. I still have... To show up. Yeah, I, I'm still trying to get Chikan the Forever Man. Um, saying you do not need to redeem the 450. We will refund that to you. Your game should be there, Cosmic. Cosmic, you, your you, game was chosen. Um, your game was Cheeky Cheeky Boys. Uh, no, that was for the high score, though. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I don't have a game here, then. Oh, huh. I, it was Cheeky Cheeky Boys, then, I believe. But was it way. Cheeky Cheeky Boys? No. I, I'm trying to remember. Um, I, did we save that wheel? Nope. Okay, well, what was it, Cosmic? We'll just, we'll throw it on right away. Oh, okay, and so saying you want to redeem an extra space for Zombie I know it was there last week because we talked about it. Yes, Castle of Illusion. Okay. Yeah. Castle of Illusion should be there. It is Which now. I plan on badging uh, this week for RA. So I mean, it's no big deal. It's just a couple letters to I, type in. I, I can't badge Kung Fu, so we are moving on to other games. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ken has Keith Courage in uh, Ellipses on the Turbo Graphics. Mew Mew has Mega Man Zero, and then paid to put Fighter's History on. Uh, Zombie Nation is on there as an extra, and it looks like Knocker is paying to put Sparkster 
on again also. I'm going to have to figure a way to do this differently. All right. Would anybody else like to add or change anything that they have? Anything you want. That's, That's the way the you way got you it. Need. <laughs> that was good. Da, na, 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 na. Foxy. Change Mega Man Zero to Fighter's History. For... Oh my god. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. That was out. Oh my god. That was out loud. <laughs> I understand. I understand. And I feel that way too. By the way, guys, yes. If you if you see a game that you have on the list on the list that you're like, uh, I'm. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, Somebody clip that, please. No, please don't. That was amazing. Please don't clip it. Okay. <laughs> don't clip that was it. out don't loud. Clip. I don't know why. Oh, that was God. great. I didn't I, realize I had spoken. <laughs> well, with that, let's shuffle this wheel and see what game we're playing. It's most likely either Fighters History, Zombie Nation, or Sparkster. And you son of a bitch. Oh man. All right. So yeah. So Oh you're kidding. Okay. I was like, okay, you thank you, Ken. Bitch. Oh man. <laughs> uh. They're all against us. They're all against us. Alright, and with that, yeah. the foxy all the shuffle. All right. The foxy and shuffle, let's one. do it. And shuffle. And shuffle. All right. And spin, spin that, that wheel. wheel. What are we getting? We got Sparkster. A Sparkster. Oh my! I feel like we, we just played Rocket on the Knight. List? Right. This That's is the I said. sequel to Rocket Knight. Yeah. Yeah. So I was, I was like, we might have to do this differently because <laughs> it's like every week. It's like I got points. Put it on there. What we need to do is we got to put um, higher higher uh, point redemption things. Get rid of people's points, you know? I'll redeem to play it next week. There we go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Knocker. I'll take your game from you. <laughs> no. Um, all right. Let me add it into the games on Scanline real quick. Uh, after, okay. Well, I guess we got to play it first to show it. Got to show a little bit of Sparks. Yeah, here. make sure that it's the right one. I'll pull it up real quick. So. Okay. I, I have it too, but yeah. I mean, yeah. I... I, I can switch to it real quick because okay. i played it not too long ago do, 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 do. oh that's huge what oh. that is huge all right i got it too i have eight of the 73 achievements for it by the way oh, 73 achievements on retro achievements guys oh that's you too many go for achievements it? that's too many achievements no 73 um this week guys <laughs> i started uh tales of fantasia on the PlayStation. Do you know how many achievements that game has? Seven. 331. No, that's stupid, bro. That's stupid. <laughs> All right. Mew Mew has thrown out something here and asked, can we have higher point redeems? We can. What do you want to see? Uh, Foxy sing a song for 30,000. <laughs> no, we could do that. No, it's way too high for... If it's higher than a bro box, yeah, no. <laughs> I will sing a... Oh, what will I, what will I do? I saw Ooh. a knocker do this yesterday. <laughs> I'll sing a VeggieTales theme at like 10,000. Okay. So I know this is the right game because I saw a knocker do this yesterday. <laughs> That's why I knew I had to get through the first level instantly. All right, so this is it, knocker. That looks like Space Ghost with a knife. I'm not sure. This yeah, is this it. Game, All right. this, okay, honestly, yeah, this is definitely it. Um, I like this game. I like you this press game, the, the, You can press the triggers, L and R, to, to do like a dash sideways. It's really cool. Um, you got the same boost as you do in the original Rocket Knight. By the way, Adam just beat Rocket Knight Adventures for the first time yesterday. He thought it was pretty badass. And he likes it a lot, so... Oh, man, we Hooray. both messed up, Foxy. What? Neither one of us posted it in the thread. So I'm going to delete both of oh. our posts. Okay. And can you put Fighter's uh, History and I'll put Sparkster in the thread? 
So credit okay. to continues I, thread, I and then we just drop it in. Okay. Yeah, you could do this cool little, like, jukey thing. Um, see? It's fun. Where does this game fall in the lineage of, um, Rocket Knight, Sparkster, uh, games? This is... What do you mean lineage? You mean this like, is, like is this the, the sequel or the third this game? This is the sequel to Rocket Knight Adventures. Rocket Knight Adventures is the first game. Yeah, it's a non. Uh, that's true. It's a non-canon spin-off that came out. Okay. Before. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. And it was Sparkster, the extra wheel space that won. Huh? It was the extra wheel space for Sparkster that won, oh. not the original. It was, oh, it was the extra wheel space. Yeah. Yuck. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, well, that's gone. Just so you know. <laughs> yeah. And we are getting close to our 100th game that we are going to be reviewing wow. on the Reviewer's Roundtable here. Crazy. We're getting so close. It's knocker crazy. It's so crazy. How long have I been around for? Because I remember my first game I reviewed with you guys. Now, now I'm like, okay, what did I, what did I join you guys for? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But this is going to be it. Don't forget, everybody, get those monthly Melee games in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get your monthly melee points in. Get your points. Show Knocker that you are the best. <laughs> Kid Cool and Crazy Chase. I remember that. Gosh, I must have joined you guys for like game 30. So it's yeah. been about almost 70 games with you guys. That's Woo. cool. Woo. I think that's so, so awesome. And we are getting some scores posted. Uh, let's see. Saiyan posted a score for Fighter's History using the uh, Goku looking guy. That's pretty Goku awesome. Goku looking guy. It's Goku looking guy. <laughs> and who's streaming tonight? Who's doing what tonight? Pull up, ass, kicking your ass. Look, that that Goku guy. Wait. I'm at six fifty one. Nice Saiyan. Saiyan is streaming tonight, but Saiyan, you are streaming on your own channel, or are you streaming on Scanline tonight? Either way, we, you know, that is, you know. Yeah, we'll raid you, I guess is what I'm saying. We, we shall raid. When are yeah. you, when are you raid? We'll raid ourselves, yeah. or we won't. You know what? By the way. Go ahead. Uh, Mew Mew, because you asked earlier what was that before. I, um, I took Slippy's picture here. Yeah. Whoops, I just moved myself. Oh no, you I did. just closed myself out. Ah, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, it's just uh, the picture of Slippy. Oh, I kid, cool. Last though. week because I, we missed him. So, all right. I'm still not doing great. I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow or not because Grace oh. is still sick and my throat is still kind of torn up feeling. I'm sorry um, to hear. I'm... Yeah, so I don't. I I really want to though, man. I really really want to. I just. I don't know what I'm it, doing yet. If you do, don't don't use your voice. Just play dr play drums. If you well, feel, was, but if Gracie's still it. sick and she's still home, oh, I don't yeah, want to yeah, play yeah, drums yeah, while yeah. she's home. But I agree. Yeah. Um. No. So hopefully I'll be doing a piano, guitar, ukulele, and bass stream tomorrow. If not, um, have a good night, Mew Mew. Have a great night, Mew Mew. Um. Yeah. When I return, I'm going to be doing Rush's 2112 in its entirety on drums, followed by Tommy's nice. or the Who by Tommy um, in its entirety on drums as a, a big package deal for you guys. We're going to go through two complete sets of albums. Um, so that'll be fun. Saying, uh, where are you going to stream? I mean, it's what you want. We're, we want whatever you want. So wherever you're yep. going to stream, you just let us know so we know if we're rating you here or there. And guys, if we've got people streaming on their own throughout the week mm -hmm. like cosmic in the mornings we'll usually catch slippy in the afternoons uh, a couple times i will in the afternoon um it's saying uh, we see several nights throughout the week too it, knocker does also it's just yeah you guys are awesome yeah but, uh, you know it's 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 a good we have a great community enjoy some retro and yeah. take it easy yep 
And with going with our great community, that's kind of what we wanted to remind you of is, you know, everybody's streaming, everyone uh, goes live all the time, and when you do, you can simply flip over, and if you have a Discord, just, just uh, go in to our self-promotion channel, or to our announcements, preferably both, and just click this follow button up top. And then you tell it what channel you want it to go to in your stream, and you say follow, and then when you post and say, like, I posted this test post, and it will go to your stream's going live channel, test post. So the more people we have participating, um, yeah, the more people we have participating, the more reach everybody gets out there with our discord and with everything yes omi chan that's right um by, by the way yeah we will be coming back with slice of onigiri sooner than later i hope <laughs> but we did come out with a new video if you guys yes. want to check out i'm, I'm self-promoting here because adam put so much amazing work at the end with all with all of it so as well you um, should be i'm about to post this is, link now we do a lot of Goemon stuff, Mystical Ninja, and this is a very rare piece that we had collected. <laughs> One. Um, and it's just, it's it's a bittersweet thing because it's kind of the transition that Konami had from being gaming over to pachinko and gambling. So mm -hmm. it's kind of bittersweet because it's cool that we have it, but it sucks because Konami was such a good company for us with Castlevania and yes. all that, that it's just... We wanted to share this little piece of history with you guys. We like gaming history around here. Yeah, so. we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. And it's it's a great video. Foxy, the the show that they do, the the thing they've been doing for a very long time, going through all the games in the Goemon series, um, they're all available on YouTube. That link that's in the chat is specifically to the uh, Gotten Bear Pachinko machine. So... Yeah. Check it out. I mean, they have people watching it. They're the only... This video is the only way on the planet for you to see what this pachinko machine has to offer. No other video like this exists. No other video is this complete. Yeah. We... we yeah. We spent over a year making this video. This mm -hmm. one video. While we, did, while we did other videos in between. But, like, yeah, this one took over a year. Yeah. And we kind of joked about it, too. And saying like, oh yeah, you know, by the time you know, we might find everything within a year. No, little did we know that we really it were yeah, it would take us about a year. <laughs> Just over a year. So a lot of recording for you guys, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But it's oh, worth man. it. It's we it's like history. Good. Yeah, and it's you know, you guys are gonna love it. We we love it. Um <laughs> so we're gonna kick it over to Saiyan. Um now remember the only real uh the with our schedule. Um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, we have streams going. Yes. Wednesday is the only shift night where it's going to be Saiyan with Neo Geo or SNES San uh, uh, Wednesdays. Nice. He does specific things. Unless our man here and when Adam have, yeah, when they're ready, a slice of Onigiri is their live, it's the live taping of their show that they do together that that link again goes to um yeah. and um and yeah so they give yeah. you a behind the scenes of how this works and there will be times where they'll be talking to us and there will be times where they're not talking to us at all because they're recording the video so yep and so very, the things you'll see on youtube you might cool. you might know those times from watching us on stream do it so mhm mm mhm mm exactly yeah. exactly so um, Saiyan is now live. We're going to go ahead and raid him. Tomorrow night, Sounds he's going to be streaming also. Uh, after the 80s bros, he's Saiyan. He's Saiyan. Uh, Saiyan is Saiyan. Yeah. So, it's been a good night for me. Uh, hope it's been a good night for you, buddy. Been a wonderful night. And I'm so happy to have you back, Slippy. It's nice to be I know, back. I know you're still going through a lot. I know Gracie's going through a lot. I just I hope the best for you too. She is. Oh. We've been sleeping on the couch for like four or five days because it's just 
<laughs> easier. You know, it's sitting up because of congestion mm -hmm. and stuff, and and it's it's been and scary and bad. I hope and... the best for everyone out there that you're all yeah. feeling, you know, feel well this week, get better this week, get some rest this week. Mm -hmm. I sure don't, but I hope the rest of you guys do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you but... all for coming. Um, you know what's yeah. funny is this might be the first stream I've ever done of every stream I've ever done for two two years now. I did not once look at the viewer count of how many people were here. Oh, I know, I, I haven't done that forever. <laughs> I always look at the I viewer stopped, count. I stopped looking at viewer counts a long time ago. We just we oh. just we're here for you guys. You yeah. know that you know. Yeah. One, twelve, thousands. Oh, baby, we're gonna hit that homepage <laughs> one day. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. All right. All right, everyone. Uh, I've been Take care, Slippy. everyone. Yeah. He's been Foxy. I've been Foxy. I've been Foxy. I am Foxy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only Slippy while we're here. Otherwise, I'm oh, okay. So, all right. Bye, everyone. Bye. bye.